Alright guys, in this video we're going to take it out of ArcGIS Pro and start programming with Python out, outside of Pro. So I'm going to close this down for now. And the first thing we need to do is I'm going to clone our ArcGIS environment, uh, the Python environment. So uh, first click this Windows thing here and type Python. So if you have ArcGIS Pro installed on your computer, you have this Python command prompt. So I want you to right click this and say open file location. And then we need to run this as admin. Okay, so you see the Python that comes with ArcGIS Pro, it's in something called a Conda environment or an Anaconda environment. It's basically a bunch, it's a package manager and it, it helps keep all the various packages in sync. Um, so if we say Conda env list this is going to show us all of our different conda environments um, so actually let me show you what i'm talking about if we go back to pro and go to project python it should show us what environment we're using we're using arcgis pro dash py3 and you can say add or clone default here but sometimes this has given me trouble um, so what i usually do if I want to clone the Python environment, I do it in the command line. Um, and first, you might be wondering why are we even cloning this? And it's because we want to add more packages. So I want to add a package called Bodo3, and that's going to let us hook up to um, that S3 bucket. So it's always recommended. See, it says you, it even says right here, you cannot modify the default Python environment, clone and activate the new environment. So that's what I'm going to do, but I'm going to do it in the command line. Um, so how do we do that? If we just Google um, conda clone environment and go to this first page, and you'll see this cloning an environment. So this is basically the command we need to give it. So let's copy that. I'm going to bring it over to my scratch page here paste it. So we want to say conda create dash dash name. So let's call this um, YouTube clone. And then it's saying what environment do you want to clone? So we want to clone the existing ArcGIS Pro ArcGIS Pro dash PY3. So just copy that and paste it in this command prompt. And again, make sure you're running as administrator and make sure you're in this Python command prompt, not just a regular command prompt, because this Python command prompt, when you open it up, it, it sets environment variables um, and stuff like that. So just paste that and let this run. So you can see it's it's basically downloading packages. Uh, it's, it's making sure um, it has everything it needs so uh, just let this run and this is uh, an important step that we need to do if we want to install other packages and we definitely do uh, we want Bodo 3 because again Bodo 3 is it's Python's um, let me just show you if I google Bodo 3 Bodo 3 is like here we go it's Amazon's SDK for Python so it's, it's how we can interact with AWS using Python um, so I'm going to let this run. I'll pause the video because I don't know how long this is going to take. Probably like five minutes maybe, but let's just pause the video. All right, guys. So a couple minutes later, it should have finished. Um, and you can see the first thing it's saying here is activate this environment. You must use activate YouTube clone. So just type. You can see on the left, it's still it's saying this is the active environment. That's the old one. So let's do conda env list again to list all the conda environments and you see we have that YouTube clone now so let's say activate YouTube clone and now you see on the left hand side YouTube clone is active and I'm gonna um, clear the screen by saying CLS and now if you if you say conda list not conda env list but conda list this is going to show you all the packages that are installed, all the Python packages. So 
Um, what we need to do is we need to install Bodo 3 because like I said Bodo 3 is how we're gonna connect to AWS. So remember how before in the command line we were saying AWS and we listed the bucket? Well we want to do that same thing but in Python. So to clone um, packages, or not clone, to install packages, let's just Google conda install Bodo 3 and um, this is basically how you do it. So you say conda install dash C and conda Bodo 3. So just copy that and go back to here and say conda install dash C and conda Bodo 3. And then click enter. And what this conda does, it makes sure all your packages um, can work with each other correctly. So for example, if Bodo 3 needs like a certain version of a, a different uh, dependency, it'll upgrade or downgrade that dependency. Uh, you'll see. It basically makes everything work better. So just give it a second. I don't know, sometimes this runs faster. Okay, here we go. So you can see the following new packages will need to be installed. So Bodo, when we say conda install Bodo 3, it's saying Bodo 3 is dependent on all of these other packages. So it needs to download those. And then it's saying these will be superseded by a higher priority channel. So just, just type Y for yes, and it'll start installing. Right, it's looking good. It always takes like slightly longer than I think it should take. Like it's like hesitating right now. I'm just being impatient. But, okay, it finished. So now, if we see how we're still inside ArcGIS Pro, we need to cd dot dot to go up a level. And I'm going to clear the screen, CLS, and I'm going to type dir. And you can see we have these two environments. So let's cd to the YouTube clone. Okay, and now clear it again. And now say conda list. And what we're looking for here is to make sure we see Bodo 3. There it is, Bodo 3. Sweet. Okay, so we're good with Bodo 3. Um, so you might be wondering how we can like access this. Uh, if you just type Python, now we have a Python command prompt, and we should be able to say import Bodo 3. Okay, so it worked. So that means that it worked. Um, I'm going to close this. And let's take a look in Pro. I'm actually not sure if this sh this will show up yet. We might need to restart Pro for it to show up in here. Yeah, I guess we have to restart Pro. That's not surprising. So let's close Pro. Um, I'm going to close out of this stuff. And I want to show you where... Actually, let's save that for the next video. In the next video, I'm going to show you how we can um, hook it up with like PyCharm and stuff. So uh, I'll see you in the next video.